Hey, this is Dave at houseparents.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair a damaged electrical cord uh, with heat shrink tube or heat shrink tubing. Uh, this right here is an example of that. These uh, pieces of tubing can be shrunk down to cover over a wire that's been exposed. And we're going to expose some wire here by repairing this electrical cord and use this to fix it. I uh, got this off Amazon. If you are looking for something like that, we'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, also, you're going to need some kind of wire snips. Uh, these wire cutters have, you can see, gauges in them. When you cut the wire, it's gauged according to the size of the wire, and that's real helpful when you take the jacket off the wire. But we'll show you how to do that in just a second. Some time ago, I had accidentally cut this wire with a hedge trimmer. Uh, extension cords, especially if they're outdoor cords, get damaged all the time. And so if you, I repaired it, but it's a bulky repair, and so we're going to do it a little bit better way today. So all you can do is uh, cut out the damaged portion. And that's what we're doing here. And get rid of that. And then what we want to do is, you can see the wires there. There's three wires. Uh, they correspond to the three prongs and the three holes on an extension cord. And so what we're going to do is first take off the, the green jacket about uh, two inches down off of this wire so we can expose all three of those wires. Each side of this cord, I'm just going to cut through the green jacket, try not to cut the wires beneath it. This is a pretty simple, straightforward repair. It's not complicated once you know how to do it. It saves you from having to buy a, a brand new electrical cord. Hey, quick reminder, subscribe and like this video. We really appreciate it. All right, and so there we have our three wires on either side of the brake. And now we want to go ahead and cut each of these wires back a little bit, about an inch. To do that, we're going to use these wire cutters. In using the, the right size gauge on this, you get to cut the, the wire jacket, but not the actual metal wire. We're just, again, we're just cutting off the jacket so we can remove it and expose the copper wire there. And so it takes a little trial and error. And if you cut, if you cut into the wires, you can just start over, you know, cut that damaged wire off and, and try again. Now the next part is to choose tubing that will go over the largest obstruction and but will still shrink down enough to cover this uh, copper wire. And so what we have here is uh, this is a three to one shrink ratio. It will shrink to a third of its actual size right now. This right here is a quarter inch and it tells you on here the quarter inch one will shrink down to 2.2 2.1 millimeters and that's way bigger than what we need so we're just gonna we just want something that's close all right so let's try 330 seconds here see how that fits yep that fits real well so it slips over the wire easily and when it shrinks it'll really cover those wires so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go ahead and put this 330 second wire or tubing over the wires and the existing jacket there you go so we got three on there so now you can see that so we'll go ahead and fan these guys back out again and you'll see why in just a second so now being careful to match up white black and green right there so we're going to match those up to here so now that we have these fanned out we'll go ahead and start matching up green to green first and what we're doing is just feeding these together like this so that they intermesh, you know, much like you would be doing that with your hands. We're going to intermesh and then we're just going to twist them around each other. And then we'll do black to black. And they, they hold real well that way. So there's our wires repaired. And so now we're gonna go ahead and shrink, slide our shrink tube over the exposed wires. So they are completely covered until the jacket 
goes over the jacket on the other side. Okay, so slide that one over there. All right, so now we just do the green one. There we go. Last thing we need to do is apply a little heat. I'm gonna use this uh, propane torch, not letting the flame touch this plastic because obviously it'll melt it or burn it. Uh, we're just trying to apply a little bit of heat so that these covers shrink up tight. You can also use a heat gun, maybe a hair dryer, something, some other kind of heat. Just don't let the plastic come in contact with the flame. Okay, and just with the latest heat, you can see how it's shrunk right around those wires, nice and tight. You can see literally where the jacket of this wire ends and then you get to the wires and it just shrinks tight right around them. So now that's a really tight, you can pull on this, it's a really super tight fit. All we gotta do now is wrap it up and wrap these wires all together it is as good as new. Well, hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, we've got lots of videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.